Sherlock, don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound of my voice. Sherlock, don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound of my voice. Welcome to Il Palazzo de Luso, sir. If you need something, sir, please inquire at reception. If you need something, sir, Welcome please to Il Palazzo de Luso, sir. We just need your signature. There you are. Ah, Mr. Holmes. Uh, yes, we have room 221 prepared for you. I see it was reserved for two people. Uh, would you like a second key? Oh, uh, no, I, I think we'll stick together. Very good. Rooms are upstairs, sir. Welcome to Cordona. Hurry up, Sherlock. I want to see our room. I hope there's a balcony with a view. I apologize, sir, but your room is not yet ready. Perhaps in the meantime you would like to relax in the foyer? Tonight the restaurant is offering a complimentary Marlin ceviche to all our guests. Let's check what they have on offer. Hey, Sherry, just our luck. 
If seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's batch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. If seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's batch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. If seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's batch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. A medium, John. Haven't we been through this already? Come on, it's not like we've got anything better to do. Excuse me, sir, but I believe Mr. Galich is conducting a seance at the moment. Perhaps you'd care to have your portrait drawn while you wait? Why? Pardon me? Why should I sit for a portrait? I... Sir... It's art. It doesn't need a why. It is its own justification. All things require justification, be they objects, systems, or beliefs. How about art as the lens through which we see the truth of the world? That's backward. Truth is not subjective and not complicated. It's just the truth. It either is or it isn't. You do not need a lens to see it, just an open mind. Ha! Huh. That seems rather close-minded. Truth? Like beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So tell me, what do you see? Mediocrity. Come now, Sherry, what did he do to deserve that? The servant mentioned ceviche at the bar, Sherry. You should grab us some, and I'll find us a table. I'm starving. Okay, time to check if John found us a nice table for the evening. Sherry, I'm over here with my new ursine companion. Cordona's even quieter than I remembered. It's going to be a long evening. Ah, oh, come now, Sherry. What say we amuse ourselves with a little game? What were you thinking? Oh, promise me it isn't nonsense. After being cooped up on that boat, I am itching for activity. No. As you can see, someone left a cane on our table. I simply thought you could identify its owner. Ah, so it is nonsense. It'll take me a minute, John, at most. Well then, you can deliver it to him as well. Deliver it to him? <laughs> then what are the staff here for? Aesthetics? Oh, stubborn, Sherry. Too stubborn. You wanted something to do. Slapping oneself in the face is also something to do. That doesn't make it worthwhile. But all right, let me take a look. No matter how long you stare at the stick, it's not going to walk itself to its owner. The hand grip is a head of a golden Javanese statue, probably stolen from a temple. The dents suggest it has been used as a bludgeon. The cane is made of ebony, it's worn uncared for, and bears the scars of numerous hits. A crest depicting a bulb of garlic in a meadow, perhaps the Fielding family or meadows, or Craven, from the old English name meaning garlic place. This cane is an expensive and ostentatious weapon. Its owner must be vain, volatile, and of noble English blood. Take it with you, Sherry. Let's return it to its owner. All right. I hope you noted down your observations in your casebook. But how are you going to find this nobleman? The cane itself is not enough. I may have to ask other guests if they saw who was here.
Pardon, monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Of course. Stop me when you've had enough. Well, even with your keen senses, Sherry, I doubt you'll find the Kane's owner on your first try. <laughs> and would you be confident enough to bet on it, my friend? Why not? Let's see how good you really are. Could you help me? My dear fellow, you're talking to the right man. Hey, Sherry, don't we now have the perfect excuse to visit the seance? I'm just going to give the cane to its owner. You will not persuade me to take part in this show. I didn't see the owner, Sherry, so I can't help you find him.
Your room is upstairs, sir. Number 221. Those are the sharp eyes of a man with a bright mind. Almost like mine. Whoa, what a breathtaking man. <laughs> 